Now, I want to add someone to this conversation. She is a highly decorated former Navy SEAL and member of the elite SEAL Team 6. She was deployed 13 times for combat and was awarded the Purple Heart and a Bronze Star. Now there is another accolade to add because Kristen is the first former U.S. SEAL to go public as being transgender. Please welcome congressional candidate Kristen Beck. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Uh, you've been listening to everything that we've been talking about. Yep. Um, what, you're further down the road here uh, in this process uh, than Steph. What, uh, share some wisdom here. This is a tough road. And right now, Steph is in puberty, basically. So think of it like being a teenager. And you need to kind of experience things and grow and try to figure out where you are, where you fit in life, and how all this is going to work. You just have to kind of settle down a little bit and remember the people that love you. You can see Gary loves you and probably still wants to love you, but when you're totally going like you are right now, it's going to be really difficult. It's going to be hard. And the when you say going like you are right now, what, what do you mean? You're going to totally destroy everything you have in order to feel this thing real quick. Your intention, as I heard on the tape, is you want to go all the way. You want to do hormone therapy, you want to do uh, the, mm. the, the, the surgery, you, you want to go all yes. the way, and that's something that is a really long process that involves a lot of psychological counseling, a lot of screening, that's because there's no coming back from some of yes. this. So that's a long process, and you're not even almost eligible for that at this point by anyone reputable. So when uh, Kristen is saying you got to kind of slow down, you, you, there are a lot of breaks in place. You're going to slow down. And what's saying is you want to slow down behaviorally as well, right? Yes. Right. Yes. And you know, I have to say to you, um, if you know, Steph has to do what Steph has to do, and I have to tell you, to spouses of, of people that are transitioning, you have to take care of yourself. There is no partner that is worth losing yourself to the point that you take your own life because of a choice they make. You need to absolutely do what it takes to take care of and protect yourself. Do you agree with that? I 100% agree. And you have to understand it. Just like Steph, I knew this when I was in grade school. This is something that we've struggled with and hid in order to not be beat up or killed. You understand that transgender people even today are being killed at about a rate of once per week here in America for being who we are, beaten to death or stabbed. This is not an easy life. We don't choose this. This is something who we are. It's very deep inside. And we just have to live that way.